I have a habit of attaching my happiness to my goals. It's a pretty bad habit because the more happiness I expect to get from hitting my goal, the more I fear missing my goal. Over time, this fear of failure causes me to set small, safe goals I know I can hit. By playing it safe and setting small goals, I stop forcing myself to grow and achieve extraordinary results in my life. In the book, The Code of the Extraordinary Mind, author Vishen Lakhiani outlines a great goal-setting method to reduce the fear of failure and maximize personal growth. His goal-setting method involves two phases. The first phase involves reducing the fear of failure by establishing internal, self-fueled goals that generate happiness. These self-fueled goals are entirely within our control, and we can achieve them at any time during the day to experience a burst of happiness. With a reliable source of happiness, we free ourselves to take chances and risk failure. Because no matter what happens, we can always find a way to be happy. And in phase two, ask yourself the three most important questions to set goals that maximize your personal growth and lead to extraordinary results. Let's dive in and explore this two-phase approach to goal setting. Phase number one, establish a set of self-fueled end goals. In a moment of deep reflection at the Burning Man Festival in the Nevada desert, author Vishen Lakhiani realized the three goals he needed to be happy were outside of his control. His three goals were being loved by his wife, reading a book a week, and experiencing more travel and adventure in his life. He realized that he might not feel loved by his wife, Christina, if she happened to have a bad day and wasn't feeling particularly loving, and he would fail to read a book a week and experience more travel and adventure in his life if he had a crisis at work and he didn't have enough time to read an entire book or escape to another country to have a new adventure. So he distilled each of these goals to the base experience he was seeking. He realized that his goal of being loved by his wife was actually be surrounded by love. He realized that his goal of reading a book a week was the same as always be learning and growing. And he realized that the goal of experiencing more travel and adventure in his life was the same as having amazing human experiences. Author Vishen Lakhiani says, these new goals are directly within my own power. No one can take these away from me. This means no failure can stunt me. I could be homeless and alone, sleeping on the streets of New York City, but I can still be surrounded by love because my love comes from within, meaning he can just visualize the people he loves and that can provide him with a feeling of love. And he says, I can learn and grow as long as I can find an old newspaper or a throwaway book to read. And I can even have beautiful human experiences because I see the joy in everyday life, even just walking through Central Park. I have very similar self goals to Vishen Lakhiani because quite frankly, the feelings of love, growth, and amazing experiences are fundamental human needs. They make up the top tiers of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. My self-fueled goal of feeling loved can be achieved in just five seconds by closing my eyes and thinking of three friends or family members I am thankful for, and then imagining hugging them and feeling my love for them. It doesn't matter if I just had a fight with a friend, I can reliably hit this goal and feel happy at will. My self-fueled goal of growing and attaining more knowledge can be achieved in 60 seconds or less by taking out my phone any time during the day, opening up a book on my Kindle app, and highlighting a few insights. I found that this goal is a reliable way to get a burst of joy no matter what setbacks I encounter during the day. And my self fuel goal of having amazing experiences can be achieved by paying attention to my breath for 10 seconds. It helps me realize that I breathe all day long, automatically and subconsciously. By taking 10 seconds to focus on this fact, I'm filled with appreciation and joy. So what are your self fueled goals? What targets can you hit that are entirely within your control that can generate happiness on demand? When you have a set of self fuel goals, it's as if you have an internal slot machine that you've rigged to win every time you pull the lever. With a set of self fuel goals in place, you can approach your other goals with nothing to lose. You can set your sights on big, bold goals that stretch your abilities and lead to extraordinary results. This leads to phase two. In phase two of Vishen Lakhiani's goal setting approach, we set exciting, fulfilling goals that maximize our personal growth and lead to extraordinary results by asking three important questions. First, if time and money were no object and I didn't have to seek anyone's permission, what experiences would I want to have? Second, how will I need to grow in order to have those experiences? And third, as a result of growing, how will I be able to give back to the world? When you ask, what experiences would I want if time and money were no object, 
and I didn't have to ask for permission. You start to see a future that excites you and compels you forward. When I ask this question, I see myself experiencing the freedom of owning my own online business and having the financial resources and flexibility to travel with my family anytime during the year. By asking the second question, how will I need to grow in order to have those experiences? You see the person you have to become in order to earn those experiences. If I want to enjoy the experience of traveling with my family anytime, anywhere, I will need the skills to develop a thriving online business and become a world-renowned teacher in the productivity space. And then lastly, asking the question, as a result of growing, how will I be able to give back to the world? You think of how the skills you've developed will help you give back. For me, by becoming a world-renowned productivity teacher and getting great at storytelling, I can inspire more people to take action and give them the tools they need to achieve breakthrough results in their life. When you ask yourself these three questions, it's okay if the initial experience you desire seems a bit vain at first. If it excites you and it leads to growth and that growth leads to contribution, then you've set a good goal. Let's say you wanna look important and significant and have the experience of speaking on stage at a TED conference. This may seem a bit self-indulgent, but that's okay. On your road to your TED talk, you will be forced to grow as a human being. And after your TED talk, several people will be inspired to do the same. In the end, extraordinary minds don't attach their happiness to every goal. Instead, they find a set of self-fuel goals to reliably generate happiness so they can set and pursue large goals with nothing to lose. They set these large goals by thinking of experiences they want, how they have to grow to have those experiences, and what they'll be able to contribute to the world as a result. By pursuing these goals, they aren't just happy, but they are fulfilled. That was the core message that I gathered from The Code of the Extraordinary Mind by Vishen Lakhiani. It's a great book that challenges the status quo. I highly recommend it. If you would like a one-page PDF summary of the insights that I gathered from The Code of the Extraordinary Mind, just click the link below and I'll be happy to email it to you. If you already subscribed to the free Productivity Game email newsletter, this PDF is sitting in your inbox. As always, thanks for watching and have yourself a productive week.